Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today. Today, well, you might have seen on social media, I done a little um, template card following on from a lovely suggestion um, from one of my craft class ladies, Val. Um, now, I'll quickly show you her card. She made a card using the wrapped in plaid um, stamp set and some of her other supplies. So this is a, whoopsie, this is a 6x6 card and look at this. Isn't that adorable? So she brought it in and she told me I could keep it and um, try and recreate it. So that's what I'm going to do today. Now, um, this is a 6x6 card but the card I'm going to do is 4x4. Four four. Okay. Now, this has just come away, so um, the issue I had with this is when I folded it to close it, this was sticking out. Um, so what I might actually do is um, make up a different one. And I'm also going to stick it on better. So let's build the card first. So if I pop that out the road, I will fix it later. Right, so I am going to use this Night Before Christmas DSP on the front. And I'm using it with real red cardstock. Also using um, the cut-off sections for it on two panels. And um, yeah, so let's see how it goes. So I need to put my DSP away for the second. Now, trimmer. What you will need is a piece of cardstock that measures 10 inches by 5. Okay, so if you cut it down the longest side, 5 inches. Okay, and then along to 10. And cut that. And then you want to score it at 5. So that's the card base. Okay, so that's nice and easy. We are going to use a lot of layers on this card today. But I'll do that in a second. The inner part, um, which will go like this, this measures um, nine and three quarters by four and three quarters. So if I cut it down to four and three quarters first, and then nine and three quarters, like so. Now we do need to do some scoring on this. So we want to score it at two and five eighths. Um, so that's one after two and a half. Okay, and let's flip it round completely. And two and five eighths on the other side. And then we want to score it exactly in the half. So that is four and seven eighths. Like so. Now this is going to go like so. Not slightly out. But that's absolutely fine. Because... It's going to stick in like this and it will give me some room to tuck in that um, little hanging circle. So that is the, the base kind of thing. So as long as it's equal coming in both sides here, i.e. the two and five eighths. Okay. Right. So what we need to do now is we need to layer it up with some other card soak. Now I am going to use um I'm going to use some pretty peacock. Um if I can just find my supply. I've got too much card soak flying around just now. So if I look for my pretty peacock, give me a wee second. It's in here somewhere. No, it should be in here. Maybe it isn't. You know what? I'll layer it up with some very vanilla instead. As long as you are putting an extra layer in there to make it pop a little bit more. Right, so the first layer is going to be um, 4 and 7 eighths squared. Okay. And this is for the front. And that's giving a little border of an eighth of an inch okay so that goes in there so I'm just going to actually glue that on the now in fact let me cut my bits up first 
and then the card front needs to be for um ba -ba 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 -ba. what does it need to be this is a four by four it's a five by five card i'm doing just ignore me so this needs to be four and three quarters by four and three quarters so this will layer up like so and i do like a good old layer on a card one of my ladies jean layers all of her cards and uh, they just they just stand out so much more for me. So that's our front layers there, okay? So I'll pop them to the side. Okay, now. What we need to do now is cut out um, some DSP for in here. Now, I'm not doing two layers in here. I'm just doing the, the actual um, DSP. Okay. You don't want it too heavy. So this design here is going on those two panels. Um, and I want to put something different either in the middle or the other panels. I haven't decided. Let me pick. You know what? Let's do this one for the inside. Right. So just going to measure. These need to be two and four eighths by four and five eighths. So I need two of those. So two and four eighths. Let me just make sure that's fitting. Yep, two and four eighths. And another one that's two and four eighths. Which is basically two and a half. <laughs> oh my goodness, what am I like? Right, and this needs to measure, we need to trim these down to four and five eighths, which is one after the um, four and a half. Yep, that's good. I will have all the measurements on my blog, so don't worry about writing them all down just now. So that's our two layers for in the inside. This one I am going to do in the middle bit, and this is this section here. We're going to stick that down first and then we're going to cut out a circle. Okay. Um, and I'll show you what I mean by that in a wee second. So this piece of DSP needs to measure um, 4 and 5 eighths squared. Now, let me see. I don't know if I want to use a different a different uh, pattern. No, I'll stick with what I was going to do. Right, so... Four and five eighths again, that's one over the four and a half mark. Okay, so we just want to make sure that's going to fit, and that's going to fit absolutely beautifully. Okay, so let's get the trimmer away, let's get the other cardstock away. And because I don't want to waste any, and then I'll get the big shot out. So, what I need is the um, the stitch shape frame like dies, and I am using the largest, the largest one. Okay, so what we're going to do. Yes, <clears throat> excuse me, pop that there, my plate's out, and because this is a magnetic plate, unfortunately you can't buy that anymore, Um, what I want to do, oh that's in, that needs to trim down slightly, hang on a second. I think I may have cut that an eighth of an inch too big. Yes, I did. Right, that's fine. That's at centre now. Nice, right. So I've got it centred where I want it on the, the middle of the card. So just pos make sure it's positioned properly with a equal border, top and bottom, the best you can. Because once it's cut, there's no going back. Right, I think that'll do. So I'm going to position... I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to position um, 
my circle in the middle as far as I can see is straight. Okay, now position that plate on top, push it down so it doesn't move and run it through and back. Right, so let's get this away. And you will see you are left with um, this extra circle in this one here. Ta -da! Right, now what we're going to do is we're actually going to layer these up for the moment. So, make sure you are in the right direction with your papers. Oopsie. I love this. Live it till live it. So I've changed my prototype from the last one. Um, I've changed it because I want to attach the the hanging pendant area slightly different, and I'll show you how in a wee second. Okay, we're going to attach that on there like so. Now, what I want to do first, though is I need to add my insert. Now what I've done is I've used the two biggest um, circle dies, ran them through at the same time to get this um, circular effect. And that is going to go on the inside of the card to give it a little bit more bling. So I'll let you see what I mean. It's going to go on top of that and sit at the back of the card, okay? Now, before this gets stuck down, I need to um, stamp my center image, um, adhere it to this gorgeous um, piece of gold cardstock, nice glittery cardstock. Right, so what I need to do is, I'm only doing this one sided, um, I need my real red. And I need my Jolly Holy Santa set. And I'm going to stamp a little bit of Santa's face on there. And the word believe, hopefully. Okay. So, put that to one side a second. Just going to use this. Right, now I need a big block. I'm trying to keep this as short as possible, but um, sometimes that doesn't always work. Right, so I just want to stamp a little bit of Santa, like so, on there. Okay, and I want to stamp the word believe if it fits. Now let me see. It might not fit. But I shall try my best to squeeze it in. Oh, that'll do. That's fine. That's adorable. I do you like that? Love it, love it, love it. And I think I'm just going to attach this one. Um, Because it's smaller, I think it will fit better when I close my card. Okay, now what I am going to do, though, is I'm going to run through another one of those and double make it double-sided. Um, so if I get the correct one, I get my piece of very vanilla, and I'm going to run this through again. So if I get my big shot out again, okay, and I'll just very quickly, I know you can't see that guys, very quickly run that through. Because obviously I want it the same as is on the other side. But if you have um, the circle punches, these you could um, just punch out a shape rather than hauling out your big shot. So pop that to the side. Pop this away. Okay, and we're going to stamp something on the back. Right now, decisions, decisions. I think I'll put Love Santa on it. And 
Um, I'll also put a little bit of the present. Now I am going because that we have our um, pretty peacock on here. I'm, I am going to stamp this in pretty peacock on the on the reverse side. All right. So if I put my real red away the now, so I don't get covered. And I'm going to put Love Santa at the bottom because on the other one the image is at the bottom and the writing's at the top. So if I do it opposite. And then this little present. Um, I'm just going to kind of stamp off to the side like so. That's pretty, 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 pretty. Right now, I'll have to get this away. I am making a mess. I am making a mess. Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a piece of um, white baker's twine. Okay, and I'm going to cut it just about two mil short of the height of the card. I don't want it the exact same height because I don't want it poking out um, underneath the DSP that we're going to add on. So, and you want it tight, so you want to be able to give it a little bit more room. Right. Perfect. Now, this is only the second time I've done this. The first one was a disaster because it fell to pieces. But, just try, try again. Right, now, I need to make sure that this is the right way. So I'm just lining it up on my grid paper to gauge the center piece for that and the same with this one i can actually see through the cardstock slightly so that's what's helping me get a little bit of a guide okay if it's slightly off it doesn't matter right now pokey tool take your pet tool i mean i do have a pokey tool but always forget to use it Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach the twine as centre as I can. Okay, I'm going to add some white glue. Oops, and then I'm going to add the other one as best I can, just gauging where the um, double-sided tape is. Okay, so I just want to press that down really hard and I'll give it a few seconds to dry. And that will be a little spinny thing. How adorable. Right, now I think um, I'm going to leave this um, Uncolored. I'm just going to leave it as it is because I think it's I think it's nice, and I don't want to take too long in this tutorial. Okay, so the next step um, is to attach this to the other card base. Okay, then this is going to go in the inside. So there's method in my madness. Now what I need to do first is I need to layer up. The front of my card with the cardstock that I cut out. If somebody wants to tell me what I've done with it. Oh. I thought I was being pretty tidy. Right, hang on. Right, I'm just I'm just going to tidy up slightly. Right, I'm going to clean my stamps. Get these away first because I am finished with those. Oopsie. This is a bit wonky, so I've already washed that one. The little present one. Now I did have the DSP out because I did cut it in front of you guys. I'll just use a wet cloth you see here. And let me get that out of the way. So what I'm looking for 
is here. <laughs> Ta-da! Right, okay, let's layer this up. It's got tidied a little bit. I'm just popping the little links away. Stamp sets away. I don't know about you, but I need to have a clear desk to function properly. Okay, so this is going on the front of your card base. And you can see it just lets the colour pop a little. Okay, and this piece is going on too, the GSP. Make sure it is the right way round if it's directional, like this little guy is, with the adorable, adorable little Santa hats. I do like that. Right, now... I do like that. Now what you want to do is you want to make sure that this is lined up in the middle, okay? And we're going to stick these two ends down. Now if you need to use a little binder clip or something. And then just kind of test it out. Great. That's great. Right, so that's going to work fine. Right, now, just lining it up. Making sure the border's pretty much spot on as best as it can be around the edges. You'll never get it totally perfect because it's quite a fittery um, process. Okay, so there's one down. I'm going to stick down the other side. And the DSP in the middle is the last bit to go on. So yeah, there you can see the functioning part of the card. Love it. Love it, love it. Right, so in the middle, you could either use your cut off from this earlier section, or you can stick down the um, maybe the opposite side of the DSP that you cut out from this section. I'm just going to play, have a little play and see what it's like. Oh, I think that looks, I think that looks lovely. Or you could just leave it empty. I think I'll just go with the same background, okay? So we can take this off, this is going on last. However, I am going to place it over as a guide to me sticking this wee bit in. Okay, so all you got to do is pop it down to line up as best you can with your DSP that's already there. Okay, make sure that it's all flat. Okay, and then we're gently going to fold that over. Smooth it out to make sure there's no bumps coming up. Because my first sample card there were. Okay, so just give it a little bit of pressure. Give it. Without bashing the hell out of it, of course. <laughs> no. There, so you can see how, you can see the circle area in the back. I think that's gorgeous. I may add this as well, but I'm not sure how that will take in terms of, um, with it being the glitter paper, but I am going to put it on. And I'm just going to fire lots and lots of glue on here. Okay, don't overlap it on the front, however. Again, fold the card flat, and this will fit in perfect. Because it's a little whoops, because it's a little flimsy though. Um, just lift that middle section a little bit to help. I do you like that? I do like that. Ta-da! Look how gorgeous that is. All right, so I'm going to leave that to dry a little second, and then we'll um, fold it. So. We want to put this one. Now, you want to make sure it's in the middle like this. 
and then we've got to really secure this down. Now, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to pop some tape down, top and bottom, quite close to the edge. I'm going to do two strips on each. Okay. We're going to attach this, then we're going to bl absolutely bluter this front bit with glue um, to give it extra extra support for that string to keep help keep it down. Okay, so uh, there may be an easier way of doing this, guys, but this is how I've just taught myself yesterday. <laughs> and I had a little dummy run. Right, so, make sure that's in the middle, okay, then you want to pull, your, pull the um, string like so, you see how it starts to twist, that's perfect, now all I'm going to do now is add a lot of glue on the back of this piece. You could, if you like, and I think I will do that, actually. Um, no, I won't. You could have stapled it if it didn't have, if it wasn't right in the middle, but just ignore me, I can't staple it. So lots of glue. Now make sure it's the right way. So we're going in the same direction as the, the circle that you put in there. Okay, and we want to pop that directly on top like so and you want to burnish that well now, I'm just going to apply a little pressure because I don't want this falling out if it were to fall out you could tuck it behind um, but then you would see the string you wouldn't see the, sh the, the actual string bit here right so let's see Wow. And what we need to do is crease these bits here. Like so. Wow. Adorable. I do like that. Now, it's sticking out just a tiny little bit, but that's absolutely fine. I'm happy with that. What you could do um, to avoid that is you could use the tree punch. Um, you could um, punch out um, a couple of tartan plaid trees and um, put the string in, glue them together and that would not overlap. But this card I want purely to sit out on show. So I'm not bothered that it does this. And if I give this away to friends or family, I will put it in a 6x6 six six envelope. So that is looking amazing. Absolutely love that. Now I'm not going to waste this okay I also have some scraps here so what I think I'll do is I'll layer this up and add a little bit here um, and it actually looks like Santa's belt I'm not going to put anything on the front I don't think however what I may do is use I think I'll actually use one of my memories and more cards. Yes I am. Keeping it easy. I'm going to attach Jingle all the way. Um, and I don't need to layer this up because the there's quite a lot of contrast already in terms of the cherry cobbler against the um, purple. No, what's it called? Pretty peacock. <gasps> wow, I do like that. I do like it. And of course we have some little stickers and additional things that you could add on there. Um, jingle all the way. Well, how about have a jolly, holly, jolly Christmas? And if I pop that over there, these are these lift up quite good if you put them down squint. I'm just going to add that one there to say have a jolly, holly Christmas. And that is my lovely card. I'm so happy with that. 
like I say, if you don't want the overlap, um, which I'm not worried about, do use a thinner or a smaller circle. Okay, so you're talking almost half an inch thinner in total. But I think the little Christmas tree would look nice in there. Or you could put a little tag or anything else that you've got punches for. Um, so that was basically just to show you the basic um, layout of this lovely card. I'm not sure what kind of card it's called. It's almost like a like a carousel card. I know it's a fancy fold, but um, I just thought I'd share that with you guys. So, thank you so much for watching. Um, do give it a wee go. Um... And do share with me, send me an email with your picture or tag me on Facebook or whatever. And let me see if you've had a little show of this. Show of this. Right, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I do apologise that it's been half an hour. But these um, lovely things do take time. <laughs> right, guys, thanks again. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.